going, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more. Let's play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Remastered, redone, HD. <laughs> Hello, f f frightening. This is in hero mode and also a visually blind run. So we have Mr. Ho over here. Staring at the Forsaken Fortress. I don't actually know what he's staring at. I actually looked up to see if he is in fact staring at anything. I couldn't find anything. Um, the only guide I found was just pretty much saying he's staring at the Forsaken Fortress, and that's really it. So I kind of feel like if the guide I read said that, that must mean that he's not looking at anything special. Okay, so. While we're here. Fishy? Did I see a fishy? Aha! I did see a fishy. This is the only uh, marked territory... Or that's on my my C map that I haven't put down yet. So let's let's do that, shall we? So we can get that off our minds, and my counter for the man fish can be correct. Fifty what fi five episodes in? Boy, small fry. I'm a fry of the small variety. Fry of the small variety. Oh, even though I already had it, so it's really weird. Oh no, surprise! <laughs> It's the island we already have. I think that, that has to be like a weird glitch or something. I hear there's a fellow one follows collecting skull necklaces. You know who it is, Fries? I don't. Sorry. <laughs> what I could, what I can tell you is that those piggish monsters you see in the Forsaken Fortress seem to carry those skull necklaces around all the time. And I think it's easy work stealing anything from the likes of those guys. Not that I think. I should say. And that's all the info I got to offer. So, I mean, for a fish that you know we didn't even have to talk to you for one, and for two, I mean it's. There's no point in talking to him at all. But, I mean, it's, it's weird that he wouldn't give you any useful information. So, yeah, I'm actually kind of excited to come back here in the daytime. Because, wow, does this place ever have, like, a completely different atmosphere during the day? I just feel so, like, not evil. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that's awesome! Ganon Shiptral! Wow, I never even knew that happened. Oh, yeah, and this wasn't here before either, was it? That is the coolest thing ever. Wow. Holy crap. Can I, like, hookshot up there or something? I did not know this fell. I just thought it was it stayed up there and it was just, like, burnt to a crisp. Or, like, I knew it was, like, charred like this. Let's see if we get closer to it. Okay, just treats it like stone. Okay, makes sense. Really wish there was a way to go. Hey, there's rats there now. I don't think those were there before. So, well, I almost went inside. There's not really much of a point in going inside. We've already seen the inside, and I don't think the inside is going to be that much different during the day. Just look at this place. Wasn't it cool just during the day? I think so. Yeah, the spotlights are still on. Turn off the power, damn it! <laughs> well, to be fair, chances are they're just, they're just lit with torches like the Windfall Island is. Oh, yeah, I guess the place is a bit different with all the, uh, uh, with all the windows and stuff. I'm curious if there's any, like, um, moblins downstairs or something, because I kind of feel like they might be. Uh, let's try going to the tower and see how far that lets us go. Oh, that is so cool. That was definitely not like that before. So, this first episode, uh, well, at least I should say, this first, like, ten minutes of this first episode isn't going to be of any, like, progress or anything. Like I said, I'm mostly just here to explore the Forsaken Fortress during the daytime. They give it, like, a completely, like, let's say new look, but that's not true. Let's give it, let's show you guys what this place looks like during the day, because it, it's so cool to me. I don't know, I love when we can, like, come to this place, and it's normally just shrouded in darkness and stuff. I really still wish there was a box there. That would be amazing if we could get up there. Oh, that would suck if I didn't get myself pulled to that. I just fell off and just had to start over. Oh, this is Mr. Old Man ho -Oh. <laughs> When I was actually looking up, Old Man ho -Oh. The bird from Pokemon kept popping up. Hey, is this the boat room? It is. Cool. Oh, I love how they even have little pulleys here. Wait! I did not know this is... Wow! Wow, I've never noticed before that this boat room is actually the room that the Moblins were. And I never did come from that way, but there's nothing that way. <laughs> it just leads around to where the prison cell is. Right, let's go back outside. Oh, I don't think I've ever come up here before during the day. I think whenever I'd come up here during the day, I'd be, like, lost and I'd forget, like, what this place meant. <laughs> well, not really what it meant, but, like, that you could come up this way. I'm sure the door is just, you can't go in the door or some crap. Oh, never mind. I have been up here before. That's sad. Oh. See, stuff like this, it'd be, like, it'd be cool 
if you had like an action or an action replay or a game shark or something that lets you um glitch through that just so you could continue on and see what else is through here that is so cool and highly convenient that the ship fell right in the path like that <laughs> hmm, i wonder if i could actually deku leave to the ship yeah that's what i'm talking about haha -ha, how's this feel now ganon yeah i'm on top of your freaking ship this thing is freaking huge compared to the crow's nest in um tetra ship all right i guess that's all i really wanted to do here well, hope you guys enjoyed taking one last look at the Forsaken Fortress. Because damn, does it ever look cool during the day. I wish I could like, get up there somehow. I think I could almost do that if you just had a freaking really long grappling hook. <laughs> oh man, that is so cool. I love it so much. Yeah, I think I actually have been up there before because I do recognize that the ship being in the way there. Alright. I'm not going to talk to the kingly guy because he's just going to be like, Let's go, Link! We don't have all day here. Also, just because I haven't mentioned it yet, we're missing, well, we're missing a bottle. But we're also missing one item here. We beat all the temples, so where could that possibly even be? Hmm. I don't know. Where do you guys think? Yeah, I'm going the correct way. All right, let's head to the next island. Actually, before we do that, though, what we should really do is open up all the treasure charts we have. That looks like a peener. <laughs> uh, let's make sure we don't have anything from the Forsaken Fortress. Like, what's this? I believe that's a windfall. That is not here. Ooh, it's this though. This might no. That's, that's, that has to be the Forbidden Woods, right? Or the First Haven? Cause there's an island off to the left there. Hmm. Look at that one. See, that might be this place. Maybe we should take one little more roundabout look-see. Alright, okay. There's no platform in this sector, but there is in the next one. Let's take one little lap around here. Whoa, what is that island? Oh, that, never mind. That's just a ship. Holy crap. I was like, what the heck is that place? Alright, see if we have any treasure laying about here. A boot. Uh, no? Really? Not yet? See, this is kind of the issue with this, is even though we're coming here, we're going to have to come here again if it is indeed correct that we don't have any, we don't have the golden blade of treasure yet. Did I just pass a bottle? What was that? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Alright. Okay, it looks like we'll be coming back here then. Let's head east to the next island. Is it this one? Nope, that's towards mother and child. I don't see anything. Really, where, where's the island? Can't be that one. Is it that over there? Which way is that? It's, that's gotta be in the south square, right? Yeah, it's totally in the south square. Oh, here's the platform. Oh no, more exploding barrels. <laughs> barrels! Right, see? Look at it. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, well, at least you we see exactly where it is, though. It's, like, right on this one. No. Go down. Yeah, see? Meh, see? Meh. Get another 50 whoops to help save the day. Uh, we got a purple poopy. Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, is that the island I'm going to? No, that's a Forsaken Fortress, you silly, you silly babilly. Man, it would be kind of scary to be on this platform. Whoa, a little bit too crazy there, Miss King Guy. Whee! Okay. No, no, come on. Oh, here we go. Here's actually a good example of... Ow. Oh, man. Look how much this, this seawater's messed with you here. We can do cannon battles. Yay! Exciting! Uh Ah, uh, didn't do anything. Okay, well, let's get out of our boat here. We can swim up. Eh, eh, eh. Yay, I love it when the ocean does most of my work for me. No! There you go. Ah, oh, see, it's like, look how far down the ocean goes. That's so crazy to me. Alright, so I think there's a few more cannons on here. Let's get up here. What was that? Did I see... Oh, it must have been thunder. Holy crap, there's a full out like, freaking Boca Blin over here. Yeah, first one's dead. Huh. Oh, what? Hit the freaking barrel. No. Where'd he go? <laughs> so dumb. 
It's like we're going crazy from being up here so long. And also, these guys suck for being people on Watchtower, all things considered. Oops. No! I want to freaking swing it at you. I messed up the buttons. Because you press B button to use your sword. Man. Destroy all the things. Ugh. Screw you, barrel. And in here we got... Yeah, I call the feather. You keep it. This buzz thing. A certain strain just emanates from the quill. Beautifully, beautifully fine and shining golden feather. When girls are said to be infatuated with such treasure. Let's pull out our bomb bombs. The donk bombs. The donk bombs. And the best way to actually deal with these is just place bombs down above them and Okay, I was gonna say it's actually possible they fix that uh, So I think what you're supposed to do really is just use your cannon to do battle with them, but whoa It's not as great to be honest uh, I think that one we already exploded. Yeah, it looks like okay, so this one's clear Yay! nothing we get out of that one. But that's okay. Can't say I really expected much out of that one. Do we know where the island is yet? We need to go north, maybe? Is it this? It's gotta be that, right? Yeah, here we go. Whoa, so many rupees that I can't get to. Aha, we have a glowy glow over here. Oh, whoa, that fish came a lot quicker than I thought he would. Oops. Whoops. Double whoops. Triple whoops. Ah, he came to us. Excellent. Meh, excellent. Meh, meh, meh. Take, oh, no. No, I don't know why I'm messing up my all my buns lately. <laughs> I was doing so good at it too, but now not anymore. I'm like an old man trying to play a Vegema game. <clears throat> what, small fry? Give me information about this island, small fry. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, look up. Star Island. I think we've heard stuff about this place before. Let's see if he has any info. I hear that somewhere, somewhere out there in the world, there's a handy arrow that can freeze anything. Something like that, you could even freeze a nasty monster in the Forsaken Fortress, for a while anyway. But then, uh, what would you do with a frozen monster? Say, good question, Fry. Why, well, I'd say you give that thing a whack and watch it shatter to teeny tiny pieces. So, it's weird that he says that, considering that, um, we, whoa, 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 holy crap, this man in badly! Oh, crap, we... I forgot that this island here is... Okay, we gotta figure out... Hold on a second here. Let's let's fly away. I mean, swim away. I mean, boat away. Alright, it's right there. So we need to get close enough. That will appear on our maps. Ooh, actually. Ooh, it's right in the middle of this one right over here. This one right here. Ah, see, this is why I like the like this sea pattern the best. <laughs> At least when searching for treasure. Makes us it makes it easy to find this. And finally we gain our second treasure out of the game, like the big treasure. Alright, even though it's in the same chest, but that's okay, you guys. Don't judge a treasure by its chest. Wait, what? <laughs> you got a silver rupee! It's worth whopping 200 rupees. It's time to jump for joy. And to be honest, that is probably why I should probably stop searching for uh, I can get closer down on that. Come on, dude. That's honestly probably why I'm gonna stop pulling up treasure from just the normal shiny spots because a lot of those um, treasure chart things are just going to lead to 200 rupees. So at that point there's no point. Hey, there's a dude here. We're not going to talk to him because he says the exact same thing as all the other ones do. Yay for originality! Let's go to our bombs, I guess, because, I mean, we've got a lot of things to bomb over of our man. Oops. Anything? Uh, that's exactly what I didn't want. I was a bit worried about that. And mailman just came. <laughs> this has been your daily mailman update by Chris. Oh no, there's a Denna. Where did he come from? Oh no, there's more Dennas. I think the Dennas always appear during the night, actually. Ow, assholes. Jeez, how, why are you guys not attacking? What? How do I, I hit you? Probably. King of Red Lions, help me. <laughs> He's not gonna help me. He hates me. Confirm. Whoa. Where that rupe? Where did some of these rupees appear? Why are they? What? What's going on? Is that it? Is that all the secrets we got here? So I guess the whole purpose of, of this island was to find this little secret secret and leave the blue chew alone. Because I hate him. I hate a stupid face. Ooh. First arena we're getting to. Bam! That should kill him, right? Yeah! 
thing with the power up master sword is it's pretty freaking powerful i don't know how powerful it is compared to the original like hero sword but i definitely feel like it's pretty freaking powerful come on dude nope, that did not okay ow i expected to do a parry there but apparently not <gasps> no i can't do it is it two from everyone or just two in general okay well great fantastic wow that was thank god those oh really that's cheap Ooh, two of these guys now how are we gonna go we're we gonna go all the way to like freaking stalfos and all that crap well, i was gonna try and do a charge spin attack or a hurricane spin i suppose but oh well yeah i was gonna say i think i remember moblins coming but i don't know if anything else comes after that I love how they're just casually walking. I don't even know I'm here yet. <laughs> oh man, I was gonna say, I can't see anything. Probably wasn't a smart idea. Whoa! <laughs> I love the shock. Like, <gasps> That's fantastic. Can I do anything with this? No. Oh, okay. I mean, at least it like fused the balls, all of them. Jeez! Really? That's it? Really? Uh, okay. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder it's gonna be in here. Let me guess. Joy pendant flew up there. Oh, was it joy pendant? Would have been the skull necklace. I don't know where it went though. Alright. Uh is that really it here? I don't have a guide with me since everything is kind of self-explanatory where to get. I do have a list in front of me, but I'm been checking it. <gasps> you got a heart piece or a piece of heart. Yay! Oh yeah, it fills my hearts. I almost wish there was a way to get up there. I really like how this one, Dragon Mouth in particular, is glowing red. I don't know if that's an indication that there's something I'm missing here. Oh, they're not even really dragon mouths. They're just weird rock formations. They're kind of just mouths. They're not faces. They're just mouths. <laughs> they're like dragon snouts, and that's it. All right, so minus the blue chew, I guess we're done here. Let's make sure that blue chew actually appears. Oops. Let's make sure that blue chew actually appears again, shall we? I don't know what rock it was. I know it was one of the big ones. The big ones. Which one was it? This one? Hello? Okay, it does appear still. So awesome. Actually, I do know the blue chews always respond, but they don't always... Oh, jeez. Get out of here, blue chews. What the... What is going... Oh, they're walking to the water. I see. Okay, I was going to say, why is that a thing? <laughs> Alright, Northern Fairy Islands. It's going to be that over there. I guess to try to cut this a little bit short here, we're going to do at least 20 minute episodes with this exploration crap, because otherwise this will take for five ever. Um, there's no hole on that island, so I know there's no sea ship. And all of, oh yeah, by the way, whenever you see a red circle like that, that means we have successfully collected the sea chart of that island, or we've gotten the treasure from the bottom of the ocean. That's useful because there's one per square, so you will know exactly which is which. Hey, look at that. Aha! Also, is there any platform trier? That's what I want to take a look at. There is not. Not till the second last square. So we will definitely not be getting there to this episode. Well then, hello, submarine. Wow, those ships didn't do very much. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. Great teamwork. Can we just skip all this? I mean, I don't really want to. Well, we're down here now. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, I hit you in the bomb hole. Ah! Oh no, don't touch fire, please. I don't know what happened there. Is there another one? No. Oh yeah, there's two here. Say, where, where, why did that, that guy go down? Because he felt like... Ow! I only did a heart, really? Jeez. Whoa! Is there any other bad guys in here? No, I don't really need the skull necklaces anymore. I'll still take them. We can sell them if we do get short on money, which is possible still, because there is... I did mention we only have to buy things for Beetle Ship, and that's it, but there is also other things we have to buy in the game still that I forgot about. All right, we're not going to break all those barrels, because screw it. I'll take too long, and there's no point to it. I mean, you might even be thinking, why would I even break the barrels in the first place? But I just want to complete everything, man. I want to break all the things. Be wonderful. All right, let's use objectively for advantage here. Oh, can we just we could just probably float across the entire thing, can't we? Yeah, there we go. That makes things easy. Okay, I was gonna say that chest better appear. Ooh, 
is this a treasure chart? A treasure chart? The good thing about this island is we already got the map fish, so we don't have to worry about looking for him and spending time doing that. <gasps> you got a treasure chart! Blah, 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 blah. Cool. So I guess what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna go through all the islands like I planned to. Except at the very end, we'll just go collect all the treasure charts we missed in the first run. I don't know what that place is. We should get rid of that now. Thank you. I don't know if we have the treasure chart for this island or not. The treasure will always be right by the island as well. So you never have to really worry about, oh no, I have to walk across the entire sector. And it's also really weird. It's all dusty and crap in here. I mean, to be fair, that's kind of a cool effect because that would make sense. It would be dusty in here. All right, let's get a butt outside. Let's go kill all the things. Um, I guess we should move him a bit just so we don't have to run all the way back this way once we're done killing all the things. Kill all the things. Are you assholes ready to die? Does his arm just twitch? <laughs> I think his arm just twitch. That's awesome. There's nothing in these. I just broke all your crap, man. All your like fresh water or whatever you had. In there. Well, I guess you don't need it anymore. Wow, great, great idea. Nice job, dude. You missed me killing your friends. You let down Ganon. You let down your best buddy. And now you two are dead as well. Into the ocean you go. Into the ocean you go. But, oh, I thought for sure. There you go. Oh, I wanted to knock him in the ocean as well. Dude, come on. Bye. <laughs> oh, nice. Ten rupees. Ten poopies. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot rupees float in the water in this game. I thought it would just sink down five ever. Okay. We're done. Well, you know what? Screw it. Let's finish this island, actually. Might as well. Because there's not going to be anything here. We've already been to this fairy island. We've been to all the fairy islands already. I believe. I almost feel like I should check just to make absolute sure. Uh, I know you can get stuff from these guys sometimes. So let's kill them just in case. And also, your aim sucks, sir. Anything? Wow! I didn't even move and that missed me. Oh, there's a treasure chest over here. Okay, let's go grab it. Hmm. Oh, shit. No! <laughs> I didn't mean to swear that. I just kind of came out because I got distracted by the bottle and or if we had opened this fairy island before. Uh, yay! We did it! Oh, my good lord. What's in here? Oh, my god. I'm so excited. What's going to be in here? Holy crap. Oh! We got a silver rupee! It's worth a whopping 200 rupees. See what I mean? There's not much point. You know, let's go check this fairy island just in case, even though I'm pretty dang sure we've been in here before. But that's okay, because we can at least fill up our hearts, right? And after that, we'll end off the episode. Uh, we did only finish up three islands in this episode. Oh, ho -Oh's over here. What does he have to say? Well, he's going to be looking at that submarine, but still, let's see what he has to say. I can't even see it from here. Ho, ho, so that's how it works. I actually thought he disappeared after you completed what was wrong with it. Pass it on. How do you even get that picture? Jeez. Probably have to buy it. There's actually photos that you can't possibly get of NPC characters that you only see in cutscenes. Such as, like, Ganon. And, um, well, the Fairy Queen, for example. And you have to buy them from people. There we go. You can barely see that. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool, man. All right, so I'm pretty dang sure we finished up this. Well, I'm like 99% sure, but I want to make absolute sure. I love that sound. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll continue to sail the sea. Probably do a lot more than three squares like we did in this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.